Hello everyone. It is Sunday the 1st of November. Welcome everyone to this announcement and it's finally confirmed from Thursday Britain is heading into another national lockdown. I can't believe I'm saying these words again. A second national lockdown. Boris Johnson has hit the button on the nuclear deterrent that he would never, wish he'd never use. And it's finally come true. History has just repeated itself. Wow. From my end at this announcement, I am shocked, bewildered. I'm absolutely... I'm just completely speechless that this has been made. This announcement caught everyone by surprise. I was shocked, more than anything, that these new impositions have been announced. And the problem is now is that the government should have listened to Sage three weeks ago, back in September, or, yeah, or four weeks ago, back in September, that... These restrictions should have been imposed then to save lives. The SAGE documents revealed a two-week circuit breaker in England would have slowed the spread of the virus down. But now we're getting it, and it is, in my opinion, too late. So, I'm sure this is going to anger many people watching this video tonight, that the new restrictions come into force. Now, they don't come into force tomorrow, Tuesday and Wednesday. You are allowed to, con you have to follow the current tiered system, but from Thursday these national restrictions kick in, they're set to last until um, the 2nd of December um, of course the government will check out, will keep reviewing these restrictions um, and obviously we'll go back to the tiered system um, after that day, if of course all goes well, which I hope it does um, so yeah, Boris Johnson has lost control of this virus it's clear now that the Government have just lost control. Public opinion is going to start snapping now. There was a poll out today from YouGov. Around 70% of people backed the national lockdown. And about 20% didn't. And 10% said they weren't sure. So, yeah. Clearly the, the rise in cases is, and it's concerning. And you just look. Now I'm just going to get the figures up. The latest figures from the government. Um, on coronavirus, the latest statistics um, for you here, and well, they say it all really, another 23,000 new cases of the virus have been, so here's the figures for you here, 23,254 people have tested positive um, in the last 24 hours, 1 million and 34,914 people have tested positive. Patients admitted to hospital in the last 24 hours, 1,442. Takes a total now up to 10,918. Deaths within 28 days of positive test. 46,717 have sadly died, an increase of 162. Those figures are at a weekend are concerning. And it is to do with the lag that we have in place. Why those figures are higher. And just... Look now at the restrictions that we have, uh, have been announced. So from Thursday, people are going to people have been told to stay at home um, unless they have a specific reason to leave, such as work, which cannot be done from home, and education. Yes, schools, universities, and colleges will remain open during this lockdown. Very different for that. Uh, the prime minister said um, yesterday that schools are an essential part of children's education, and the virus leaving, keeping children home. Letting this vir the virus will damage children's education massively. Um, the second restriction is, and people are also not al allowed to leave the home for exercise, medical reasons, food, and other essential shopping, providing care for a vulnerable person. Meeting indoors or private gardens will be banned for four weeks, but individuals can meet one person from another household outside in a public place, provided that they follow social distancing. Pubs, bars, restaurants, and non-essential retail across the nation will close. But takeaways and click and collect shopping will, can remain open. Leisure 
and entertainment venues, including gyms, will also close. Construction sites and manufacturing workplaces can remain open. People are still um, allowed to form support bubbles. Children can move between homes. Their parents separate. Clinically vulnerable people asked um, to be especially careful, but people have not been asked to resume shielding. That's big. The, the shielding advice has changed. I still think the shielding advice should have been in place. Many people in this country are still clinically vulnerable, and we don't know what is going to be said about that. So clearly confusion there on them rules. The rules are clear. Um, now, the, the, the old message is returning from Thursday. As for the next few days, businesses will stay open. However, though, they will close on Thursday. Um, so please be aware about that. Well, whilst I'm here, this is the video of what the Prime Minister uh, Boris Johnson had to say on England's new lockdown measures. Have a listen to this. Alas, as across much of Europe, the virus is spreading even faster than the reasonable worst case scenario of our scientific advisors, whose models, as you've just seen, now suggest that unless we act, we could see death in this country running at several thousand a day, a peak of mortality, alas, uh, bigger than the one we saw in April. And so now is the time to take action because there is no alternative. And from Thursday until the start of December, you must stay at home. You may only leave home for specific reasons, including for education, for work. Let's say if you cannot work from home, for exercise and recreation outdoors with your household or, or on your own uh, with one person from another household, uh, for medical reasons, appointments, uh, and to escape injury or, or harm, to shop for food and essentials, and to provide care for vulnerable people or as a volunteer. I'm afraid non-essential shops, leisure and entertainment venues will all be closed, though click and collect services can continue and essential shops will remain open so there's no need to stock up. Pubs, bars, restaurants must close except for takeaway and delivery services. Workplaces should stay open where people can't work from home, for example, in the construction and manufacturing sectors. Single adult households can still form exclusive support bubbles with one other household and children will still be able to move between homes if their parents are separated. I'm under no illusions about how difficult this will be for businesses which have already had to endure such hardship this year and I'm truly, truly sorry uh, for that. Uh, and that's why we're going to extend the furlough system through November. The furlough scheme was a success in the spring, it supported people and businesses in a critical time. We will not end it. We will extend furlough until December. Christmas is going to be different this year, perhaps very different, but it's my sincere hope and belief that by taking tough action now, we can allow families across the country to be together. Thank you to Boris Johnson there. Just also another announcement I forgot to mention. The furlough scheme will be extended. Yes, the coronavirus job retention furlough scheme will be extended to the end of the year, to December, uh, which means workers and the government will pay 80% of people's wages. And that was an announcement I actually was pretty relieved to hear because the furlough scheme was due to end today. There was meant to be a job support scheme starting and I feared many businesses we're going to go under with um, this announcement. So clearly, the news from the Prime Minister there was very sombre. Um, but at the same time, there is going to be a parliamentary vote on this on Wednesday. I'm hope I'm by what I'm hearing, the Labour Party leader Sir Keir Starmer is going to vote in support of this. I know that there's a few Tory at backbench MPs, including Desmond Swain. Um, I think a couple of 1922 um, committee MP back, Tory backbench MPs as well. Are, quite confused um, over the lockdown announcements. So they're trying to be a bit careful with this, um, trying to balance this clearly. And I know there's going to be a lot of Tory revolt, um, certainly from the Conservative Party, over the, the restrictions. And to see the Downing Street press briefing being delayed by several hours yesterday was quite, um, quite crazy, really. I mean, it was just 
um, hilarious that Boris Johnson did not turn up on time. I think he was definitely hiding in the basement um, during the day there. But of course, there was a huge cabinet meeting and I think clearly now the government have come to this conclusion. So, yes, all I can say from watching, if you're watching this video tonight, you are going to, I think a lot of people will be left pretty, um, pretty shocked. I know a lot of people are, have going to have their hearts beating right now. Um, and certainly there will be a lot of people that will leave this a little bit stressed. I know there's going to be some people a bit concerned, traumatised, stressed, and can certainly confused with themselves. But let me just say, guys, um, please seek medical help. Please speak to people if you have um, mental health issues. I really urge you guys right now to speak to people, to seek help if you have mental health difficulties during this difficult time. The next few weeks are crucial. And just having a look at the graphs yesterday and the briefing, the Chief Medical Officer Chris Whitty and the Chief Science Advisor Sir Patrick Vallance warning that if they didn't act, the UK would see up to 4,000 deaths a day. Um, and it would just be horrific in that worst case scenario. And the NHS running out of hospital beds. So it's vitally important that we can continue essential services, get um, cancer care, cancer patients diagnosed, to get... Um, essential support to other people who have got severe long-term heart conditions um, and people who are also extremely clinically vulnerable as well they'll need to seek support from the NHS as well so people that have regular checkups still need them the Nightingale hospitals will be opening um, as well to take um, the influx of Covid patients and just to say this now guys before I wrap this video up the next couple the next few weeks will be difficult these are going to be some of the most few difficult weeks we've ever had in our lives here in the uk particularly winter's approaching now we have got a huge role to play to defeat covid19 to show us that as a country we have patriotism and to slow the spread of the virus you have to follow the rules so from thursday guys the message is simple. Stay at home, protect the NHS and save lives will come into effect on Thursday the 5th of November and last until at least the 2nd of December, which will be a Wednesday. So thank you so much for watching, guys, This video for this watching this video. Um, and I would just like to say um, a huge thank you um, to everyone who have complied so much over the rest of this year. we I will keep you updated with all the latest news on corona, con coronavirus and also the COVID-19 pandemic across Europe as other countries such as France and Germany have imposed national lockdown restrictions. So we'll keep you posted on that, guys. But from me this evening, take care and good night.